Hello everyone, I'm Kim. Thanks for stopping by my channel tonight. Tonight's video is going to be all about some affordable meals that I cooked in the last week. And I know affordable is kind of a relative word. I mean what's affordable for myself and husband is not the same as it is for everybody else in the world. So I get that. Um, I mainly just made meals that are simple, rustic, they don't have any, uh, you know, high quality ingredients except for the fact that they are made with whole foods and obviously those whole foods in the grocery store did cost us money. I'd always aim and I have ever since for as long as I can remember to make a meal, um, having worked in restaurant restaurants for years and years, trying to make a meal like three and a quarter or less per plate. So when I say meals, uh, meals are um, a plate for my husband, a plate for myself, and there could be some leftovers. And so, and that again is relative. However much my husband eats and I eat is different from how much everybody else in the world eats. But I've watched a lot of videos like this. Um, I try to make one that if you're somebody like me who's just, you know, trying to be healthy, trying to take care of yourself, trying to avoid uh, having anything come up that you have to seek medical attention, doctors, doctor visits, and that. Just want to eat plain, simple food that's affordable, that keeps you healthy, mainly classified as whole foods. Um, again, relative. Uh, I think that, uh, you know, meat, potatoes, and vegetables eaten in moderation is healthy. Other people may feel that not eating meat is healthy. It's all up to you how you want to put it together or from what you want to take from my video that may inspire you. But I think that it was uh, some really good, affordable, healthy meals that we eat on a regular basis. And speaking from experience, uh, other than, you know, just having some gut issues that thankfully, um, slowly but surely are getting corrected. I haven't been sick in 20 years, so I tend to stand behind them. Um, I need, both my husband and I need to exercise more. But as far as health and that, I haven't had a cold or a um, any type of flu or allergy in almost 20 years. So I stand behind the type of food that I eat. I think that it's made... A great difference. These are just seven meals that I've created. There's uh, plenty more that I am more than happy to share in that. I will leave the ingredients and the cost in the description. I hope you're all well and I'll see you here again next week. So tonight's supper meal is stir fry. So we're going to parboil the vegetables before I put them in the stir fry. I never really liked broccoli and cauliflower, you know, hard or crunchy or anything like that. So we're just going to get these cooked almost through. We don't want to get them mushy once we start frying them. And we have carrots, and then we're going to have zucchini frying, and then we're going to add these vegetables to the zucchini, and then we're going to have white rice that we need to use up, and chicken. Okay, and this is how this evening supper meal is coming along. So I've got the stir-fry vegetables, uh, carrots. So I parboiled the carrots, the cauliflower, and the broccoli. So just, you know, just maybe, what, six or seven minutes before they become uh, ten, uh, pork tender. And then I had uh, zucchini. So with the zucchini, I just put it in the fry pan with a little bit of butter, and I started frying it up. And then when it was halfway done, I added in the broccoli and the cauliflower and the carrots. And now they have been sitting here cooking, and then, you know, cooking and then I've lowered it down to a simmer for the last 25 minutes. So they're done. And then this is the rice that we need to use up. We have a box of this. We just put it off and put it off and put it off. This rice um, isn't a real favorable thing for me. It should be brown rice. I wish it was. But I can't eat brown rice and white rice doesn't go down real good either. But we're going to use it up. We're going to make two meals out of this. Uh, so tonight and tomorrow night. We've got it here, and it's going to come to a boil, and then you've got to put a uh, lid on it and that for, I think it's five minutes, and it's done. And then we have some chicken to go with it. I was just going to have plain chicken, just cut in pieces. We decided this is the way that we like our chicken, looking like chicken tenders or chicken fingers, and so we're going to have that. And there's still four or five more to, to uh, do up, so we each have a couple of the chicken tenders with the vegetables and the rice, and a couple more tomorrow night, and I'll freeze the rest for a future meal. So that is what it's looking like tonight. Okay, 
Okay, I'm making some of my meatballs. This is about, I'd say about three quarters of a pound, maybe a little bit less. I bulk it up with some crackers, crushed crackers. So I took that little bit less than three quarters of a pound, put in about three or four uh, crackers that are all ground up fine, one egg, salt and pepper, some special seasoning that my husband gets from a Dutch store, a little bit of ketchup, a little bit of mustard, and I say a little bit, probably less than a half a teaspoon of ketchup and less than a half a teaspoon of mustard. You can put any other barbecue sauce or whatever, just, you know, less than a half a teaspoon, and it makes up really nice tasting meatballs. If you want to bulk them up further, you can add rice, so on and so forth. So a little less than three quarters of a pound, and then we use the other, it was probably just a little over a quarter of a pound for three medium-sized hamburgers, and that's what supper was. So out of this, this will be, usually my husband is down to about two meatballs now, so if we have spaghetti, there's numerous spaghetti meals with this, but you know, you are putting them in the freezer, and the quality does go down a little bit. So if that's something that's important to you, you know, don't put them, keep them in longer than 30 days. But with this, I'll use, probably we'll have two possibly three spaghetti and meatball meals, and we usually have spaghetti and meatballs once a week, and then we'll give him a meatball sub, and then there'll be probably two meatballs left, and then I'll have a meatball sub. I'll just, you know, eat the red meat because I don't want to waste it, and I don't want to leave it in the uh, freezer for more than 30 days. That's just the way I like it. Because it does break down, it does get crystals on it in our freezer, and the quality, of course, starts to suffer, so... Multiple meals here, and the one, and I think it was 1.05 pound of ground beef was 3.98. So that's pretty good. A meal tonight, and possibly five meals in the future for less than four dollars. So that's a cheap meal. Here's another relatively inexpensive meal. So a pizza crust. Uh, this past weekend, tonight is Thursday. This past weekend, we made two little mini pizzas, so we used one of these crusts that we buy at Walmart. It's great value brand. It was $2.48, and we split the crust in half, and we make two mini pizzas. And when we do that, we bring out a jar of this great value pizza sauce, and we use about a quarter of the jar for those two little mini pizzas. And then I bought a package of pepperoni. And the package of pepperoni used to make two pizzas. Now we try to make four pizzas out of one package. And then we've got a block of mozzarella cheese. This was a 16 ounce package of mozzarella. And for the two mini pizzas, we used half the block. And for this pizza, large pizza, we're gonna use the other half of the block. So yeah, four pizzas with the pepperoni. Uh, Two mini pizzas and a large pizza with 16 ounces of mozzarella cheese. Each can for the pizzas is $2.48 for the crust. This is a large crust, and then out of a large crust we made two small. And this jar, which is less than $2.50, gets us two pizzas the other night, one pizza tonight, and whatever's left, left we use, we warm up and we dip uh, mozzarella sticks in it for a... Um, a little something before we have like a meal like uh, hamburgers because we just have hamburgers we don't have hamburgers and fries we don't have hamburgers and cheese sticks we actually just try to make it a, a little appetizer before we have something like a hamburger or before we have something like a pizza almost like a bread stick we each have two mozzarella sticks they're small and we dip them in this so this jar gets used four times and it costs less than two dollars and fifty cents so another way to get your meals down under, you know, $3, $2, even a dollar. So cheap meals. Okay, I've got another pretty affordable meal. I just call it one of our cheaper meals. So we've got some spaghetti boiling away, and we've got some meat sauce, or meat with a uh, meatball in it. And some five cheese Texas toast. This was two eighty six at Walmart. I think there was twelve in a box. That's what I at least remember. When we have spaghetti, we buy a box for four dollars and eighty four cents, and we get anywhere from six to seven servings out of it. So I uh, cost that out to be um, 
Oh, 81 cents per meal. So there's 81 cents worth of pasta. The meatballs cost out at 75 cents, and the sauce costs out at 62 cents a meal. Um, we have four meals out of each uh, spaghetti sauce jar. Like I said, six to seven meals with the pasta and several meals. Uh, sometimes he has one piece, sometimes he has two of the five cheese Texas toast. So all total, this meal comes out to be $2.42 total divided by two. So I think it's a, you know, one of our more affordable meals. Okay, soon I'm going to have another, I think it's fairly inexpensive meal. I bought a package of chicken tenders. So they're basically just chicken breasts that have been um, cut down to tender size and they're sold by the Amish company that I buy chicken from. So it's real tasty. I've changed to that. Um, I guess I could explain further in the show notes and that, but 20 years ago I made a major uh, lifestyle change. I quit smoking, quit drinking, and I started eating healthier for the first time in my entire life. And in that 20 years of time, which I'm very humbled and appreciative to be able to say, I have not been sick, so no cold, allergies completely reduced, no more sinus issues, no more flus, no more anything. The biggest problem I've had is with my gut and uh, gut bacteria due to uh, not taking care of myself previously to 20 years ago. And then a lot of the uh, food that we eat nowadays just having so many additives and stuff and I'm missing enzymes that are able to digest some of the foods in the world like onions and garlic. So I have to follow uh, more of a whole food diet and stay away from anything that's prepackaged or has artificial this or that or frozen meals or anything like that or restaurant food. So mine is more of a whole food diet. I need to eat healthy whole foods and I need to eat balanced meals just to stay healthy and like I said, humble to say no sickness in 20 years. So um, that's phenomenal. So I do pick my food wisely and just to stay on budget and to not overspend on food and not have any waste. What we eat is what we eat. Sometimes it's going to look appetizing to people that view it and other times they're going to say they don't think it's enough or whatever and I understand that as well. So with this package of meat, which is $8.50, I could buy chicken breasts and just cut them up myself. Usually a package of chicken breasts of the t brand that I eat usually runs about $12 or $13. So um, yeah, I could be using kind of poverty mentality when I pick up an $8 pack where I may or may not get less chicken tenders, but what the package I pick up with the poundage that I pick up works for four meals, and that's what I'm looking for. So... Um, Here's butter melting in the pan, the egg wash, and the flour, and then you're going to see how many chicken tenders that I'm dealing with. Okay, the package of chicken tenders had 12 pieces in them, so $8.50 and 12 chicken tenders. Now, since it's Easter weekend, we're having this on a Saturday night. Tomorrow is Easter, where I'll have ham and then ham leftovers for two days. Tonight, each one of us is going to take two with some uh, mozzarella sticks and use up that leftover pizza sauce and then I'm going to freeze the rest and as I take them out again it'll be four um, for the next meal which will probably be salad and four for the meal after that which will probably be steamed vegetables so that's going to do us three meals so I'll have it in the show, mo show notes how much each one of those meals um, costs for us into that eight dollars and fifty cents so that's, you know, combining something that if you purchase this in the local store, so I've just got um, seven of them, or no, six of them in the fry pan right now, six to go yet. You don't want to crowd them. They are $20 for four of them at a local pizza restaurant, $16 uh, for four of them downtown pizza, and or downtown pizza mom and pop's shop. I don't know what chicken nuggets are. We haven't bought those in years, but I'm going to assume those are more than $8.50. And, of course, this is real chicken, homemade. So, um, yeah, this is a lot more affordable, a lot more tasty. And in our home, we're going to get, you know, because it varies. You may eat more chicken tenders. You may have less meals. There may be more of you. There may be just you. But I think that this is quite an affordable meal. And then pair it with uh, uh, healthy ingredients like salad or steamed vegetables. And that's just terrific. It's a win-win. So that's just how we do it. All, you know, all the different ways that you may do it and that would vary the price then, but it's very affordable for us. 
And I'll finish this video up with the last uh, fairly affordable uh, meat that um, we're eating this week. And that is, or that's going to be featured in this video, and that is our Easter Sunday ham. So I got this 12-pound ham at $1.99, probably the cheapest price I've seen a Hillshire Farm ham forever. And I've always had Hillshire Farm. It's not to say that I wouldn't switch to a different brand of ham, but I've tried them all, and this is really the only one that I like, and I always want to have leftovers. So I always want to have sandwiches the following day, and then we then I um, break down the ham, and we end up having two Indonesian dishes with leftover ham. I make ham salad, small little containers of ham salad for my husband for lunch, and then I always make ham salad for myself, um, and that's an actual whole meal as far as I'm concerned for myself, as long as I have fruit or a steamed vegetable alongside that. And then you can make split pea with ham soup, so multiple meals out of something that costs $23.88, but for us, we make seven additional meals, and you ha would have to... Um, when I say meals, that means I've made the meal and it's up to us how many actual plates or servings we get out of it. So a meal is made for two people, how many servings that, that uh, meal yields. You know, usually I cook just uh, enough food for us to have two servings, his, my, his and my serving, and then to put some either in the refrigerator for leftovers the following night or to add to a salad. And if there's a lot of leftovers, like in this case, then they're packaged up and put in the freezer. So um, I try to ex explain that to that, you know, um, how much you eat, how many servings you get, or how many sit down at your table is all together different than mine. So I paid twenty three eighty eight for this ham. I'm going to be having a Sunday meal tomorrow with the ham, and we're going to have potatoes and Brussels sprouts and cauliflower, Parker House rolls, um, some Easter cake, so three vegetables, mashed potatoes, some ham gravy. That's going to be tomorrow's meal. So a meat and some steamed vegetables, mashed potatoes, gravy, Parker House rolls, and cake, which is generally what we have for Easter Sunday meal. And then the following day, we're going to um, make sandwiches with some ham, and then I'm going to put the rest away. So that's two meals right there. I'm going to put the rest away for two meals of the and actually it'd be two meals, but each meal will contain several servings of an Indonesian dish that features ham, and then at least one good-sized ham salad um, for myself, and probably eight small servings of ham salad for my husband. So I'd have to break that down in price, but if I just go buy the seven meals that this is going to yield, it's $3.41 a meal, divided by two. So in our case, that's a very affordable meal in our home and in our budget. And so we're excited to once again cook it up because I look forward to ham. It's one of my favorite meats. Okay, I thought I would throw in how I'm making my macaroni salad. We've got a little tiny bit of ham left. We had ham sandwiches. So now I'm going to make some macaroni salad. We just had a little chunk. So in a cereal bowl, I've got a tablespoon and a half of mayonnaise. I've got a dash of salt, a dash of pepper, a quarter of a teaspoon of pickle juice, and I'm going to guess a tablespoon of milk. And I'm going to stir it all together to get a creamy sauce. Okay, so I'll show you just kind of like how thick or thin it is. It's kind of like that. We've got a cup and a quarter of pasta noodles to go into it and like I said one little small chunk of ham and a cheese stick cut up and that is what it's, I'm going to show you in a minute what it's going to look like and here it is so you see you got like little chunks of cheese and the chunks of ham and the macaroni it's got more of a savory taste than sweet you could add a quarter or probably an eighth of a teaspoon of sugar to the uh, sauce and make it a little sweet but right now it's kind of tangy. It's got that uh, little bit of uh, pickle juice in it. You could add celery and onion if you're able to eat that. I know that I've said it many times I'm not able to, but it does taste great and it adds a crunch. You could even add little chunks of apple if you wanted that crunch in it. Or peas like I used to add. But this is simple, very affordable. The noodles were 88 cents and I've gotten, I think probably, I think I could use it 20 times the little box that I bought. So I'll get 20 servings out of it for how much I use. 
uh, maybe not that many, maybe 12, 12 servings out of that box for 88 cents. And the cheese stick was one of my husband's for lunch. It comes in a big box of like 48 cheese sticks, a little chunk of ham, dollop of mayonnaise, a little, uh, you know, tablespoon of milk, and there you have it. Can be a you know a side to a meal. In this case, I haven't been feeling well the last couple of days, so I'm just going to give it a shot. Just take a little, I don't know, half a cup of this, and a pickle because I like to eat pickles when I don't feel well. And yeah, that's going to be my little meal with a little cup of applesauce for the day.